Hey guys, it's your girl Brenna B. Welcome back to my channel. I'm doing a little bit of getting ready with me. I'm gonna do a get ready with me. I'm putting on my makeup. I am working on some TikToks and some reels today. I've gotta do a before and I've gotta do an after. So right now I am getting my face together for the after so that I can put together this TikTok and then go ahead and post that to Instagram reels. Um, my routine is very, very basic. I'm not really heavily into makeup. Um, I like a natural face and I like a natural look. There, of course, are times when I do like to get really glammed up and have a really dramatic look. But for the most part, as long as my brows look good, my eyelashes are popping and I've got a good lip color, I think that I'm set, that I'm good to go. So that's pretty much the look that I'm gonna go for today, even though I'm gonna end up in a dress. This dress I purchased from Miss Lola. I got it over the summer, this past summer. Um, it was gonna be my birthday dress. This is what I was gonna wear out to whatever event um, I had put together or party or dinner or something, but for health reasons, I wound up not celebrating and going anywhere outside. This dress has been sitting in my closet, dying for some attention, and I figured what better way to put it to use than to go ahead and include it in a TikTok. So I have washed my face, I've cleansed my face, I've moisturized my face, um, I have done an under eye treatment and I've done a treatment between my eyebrows um, because I don't have Botox, I don't have any fillers or anything like that. So when I do make facial expressions, I do get creases and crinkles in my face. I am a woman of a particular age. Uh, black don't crack but it might start to uh, show a few lines here and there. So we're gonna take care of that. So after I take care of laying down the primer, then I put on the under eye treatment. Um, I showed you guys it uh, earlier in the video. I think it's called Peter Toff, but it literally like tightens underneath um, and it gets rid of the darkness and the puffiness, the circles that are underneath your eyes. Then over that, I do um, my Fenty um, flash snap and I use the roller and I roll away under my eyes to kind of just get away some of that puffiness. And then I go underneath that with, after that, then I go with my um, concealer. I do a couple of dots on the inner part of my eye and then I do on the outer part of my eye and then I go up. I no longer do the method where I put concealer completely underneath my whole entire eye um, because it just doesn't work the same. It looks cakey um, and to me, it doesn't actually get rid of the shadowing as much as doing it in the designated spots, the highlights in the corner of the eye and on the outer part of the eye. So that's what I'm doing there. Um, after I have blended and blended and blended and blended and blended and blended and blended, then I would use a setting spray. And I do that because that's one of the things that keeps my skin hydrated. So when I go behind it and I just apply touches of contour, that way it stays in place all day long. It doesn't smudge, it doesn't smear, and my face doesn't look greasy. So you're gonna see me do that. You're gonna see me spray and mist a couple of times. Um, I actually just went ahead and I used my Fenty concealer and I did my contour. Now I'm actually going in with foundation. I'm going in with my Fenty foundation. Um, I'm in shade 330. I'm putting that on and I'm blend, 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 blending, 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 blending. I know on camera and with the lighting, um, it might look a little bit chalky, but it actually does blend well into my skin um, and gives an even tone. And I even go underneath my eye with that even after I've done the concealer. So I am going all over my face with this just because I'm doing a full picture today and doing a full face today. If I was doing a whole 
going out, doing an evening, doing an outing, and wanted to do a little bit more, then I would definitely use foundation. Um, normally, I don't use foundation. I just will conceal underneath my eyes. And like I said, make sure my brows are straight, my lashes are done, and I've got a good lip color. So now I'm going to spray. I'm going to mist down my face again so that this sets and this stays. And then I'm going to be going in after that. I'm going to be deciding what colors I'm going to be using on my eye. I'm going to do something light with a little bit of um, shimmer to it, but not anything that's too deep. Definitely not doing a cut crease or anything like that. I think I'm going to go with um, a Bobbi Brown highlighter that I have, but I also use it as an eyeshadow because it just makes my eyes pop, especially with the brows and with the lashes. So I don't know what it is that I'm looking for. I'll be right back. I've got to go get what it is. I think it's the liner and the highlighter, the kilowatt highlighter that I'm looking for. So uh, we'll just take a couple of minutes. And while we are waiting for me to come back, I want to remind you guys to comment, to like, share, and subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate it. So yes, it's the Bobbi Brown color. Um, it's a very, very light, dusty pink, um, but it just lays really nicely and just gives a nice little highlight and a nice little shimmer. Um, it's a natural touch. It's a natural look to my eye, so it doesn't look like I have too much eye makeup on. It's not heavy at all. It's very light. I even use it as a highlighter on the tip of my nose and my Cupid's bow. Um, and underneath my eyes. So I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm going to apply that and put that on there and make sure that that is looking okay. Doing a little highlight on my nose. Definitely gotta have the nose with the glow because that definitely stands out in your pictures. Um, and just the way that the light hits when you take your photos, it's like it hits certain spots when you do that. So now I'm um, lining my eye. I'm using my um, Fenty Fly Liner Pencil. And this is, I forget the color, but it's a brown. Um, the brown actually is a softer look. Um, it's under the eye, but for some reason, it just looks softer than if I go in with because I'm black, which is the darkest and the deepest of the colors. I have them in all colors. I have the black, I have navy, I have brown, I have green, and I have kind of like this hazily one. But the brown is my go-to because it just gives a very natural look. Um, and it's perfect for the shadows that I'm going to use since I'm not going to do a dramatic look. I'm not going to do a winged liner or anything like that. So now I'm going to go in with my cheeks out. I'm doing a purple blush. Um, I saw this on a, it was either a YouTube video or Instagram, but it was someone on social media. They had gone in and they had used this color. Oh, I'm not using blush yet. I'm actually doing my powder, which is in shade 330 as well. I'm doing my contour and I'm using truffle. Um, in the areas that need to be contoured. I'm going ahead and I'm doing that. And then I will blend that in. Taking my time. Blend, 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 blend. Blend, blend, blend. Blend, blend, blend. Blend, blend, blend. And it just gives that nice little depth of color and just accentuates the angles of my face so when i take this picture the picture is going to look it's going to look decent so now that that is done now i can actually go in and i'm going to do my cheeks this is going to be the blush that i was talking about the purple blush um it sounded crazy to me and i was like oh my god purple blush that's just going to be so outrageous but it's actually really pretty. It's a beautiful color. Um, it looks really nice on, gives me a really nice warm glow. It's a nice pop of color. It goes with the naturalness of the uh, makeup that I've chosen for my face today. So I really like this one and I'm glad that I ordered it. The other color that I like to use, um, it's like a tangerine red. 
Um, I'm getting the colors wrong. I am absolutely know that I'm messing them up, but I know that this one is purple that I'm using. Then um, after that, I'm going to use my um, kilowatt. I'm going to go in with my and the corners of my eye. I'm doing the gold. And then on my lid, I'm going to do the purple. Um, my lips, I'm using the cream gloss. I can't remember what shade this is. You have to excuse me. I'm having a brain moment a lapse in memory and I should have paid attention to what color this is but it's cream gloss um, and then after that I'm going to do a top coat of the um, heat gloss um, the gloss bomb heat and I'm going to do that in hot cherry over the top of this lip color this cream lip color right here I'm going to do that and that's going to be cute it's going to plump the lips and they're gonna look nice and shiny. And we're gonna just go over it and over it and over it. And while I'm going over it, let me remind you to comment, like, share, and subscribe. Please, I really appreciate your support. I am all finished, I'm blowing kisses to y'all. Thank you so much. I am all done. One more spray down so that this face does not go anywhere and it lasts the entire day for everything that I need to do, especially getting through these TikToks because they can be challenging and then turning around and making reels. Now I am blowing my face with my hands. I'm air drying. <laughs> I'm waving and waving and waving to get my um, face to dry. And then I am about to get fully dressed. I'm going to put my dress on and I will come back so you guys can see what I was putting this outfit together for on this TikTok. So um, that's pretty much it. You guys can find me. My social medias are at Ms. Brennaby. That's on Facebook. That's on Twitter. That's on Instagram. Uh, it's on Snapchat and it's on TikTok. So here we are. This is our dress from Miss Lola. Sexy, sexy. And our shoes are Louboutins.